if you're looking at the feel and it's reflected, what kind of drug trafficking you, you heard about TV and also Sweden? What are they? What this kind of medicine is? Is it are they popular in the border? And what happened? Why they want to sell the Sweden? and also the TV, what is different to medicine. Actually, uh, there's no background. We don't know if we don't have the background on that medicine. The one is that because they use as the basic ingredients to produce the amphetamine, because they need the pure ingredient from those two kinds of medicines. Actually, the tip fee is that the medicine they use for relief cold. When you get it cold, and then you take that kind of medicine. And also, sulidine also like a, the same type of the medicine that is used for the nasal congestion to relieve the nasal congestion for the cold as well. I mean, like the cold they too high. And the sulidine on the for really this one is the trade name sulidine or tiffy is the trade name, but actually it's the generic name is that pseudo ephedrine hydrochloride. This one will extract from the medicine to be the basic ingredient for the amphetamine. That's why they are talking about the the this kind of medicine in the, in the film. And in the border zone, the border zone that is, the people keep an eye on this area because it's quite stereotype. This one has the trafficking, drug trafficking will happen along the border zone. This is the one, uh, one point from the, from the film that reflect this issue as well. The issue, another issue is that the trafficking, human trafficking, is it the modern form of the lately? Is that true? Because the girl was sold by her mom and she took to the sex industry. Actually, I'm sure that is the sex industry. And also that is when became the victim of of such, this means that they have to be, you don't, don't be stubborn, you have to be obedient. And for this one, uh, who involved this one? You can see the process is quite complex. That is from the one, it's not, you, you cannot go direct from the border to the sex industry directly, but they have the broker. And we don't know that who go to talk to her mom and ask her mom to sell the daughter to that one. And also that when the two ladies from Bangkok, she also from the border zone, I think that yes, one of one of them yes from the border zone, Sunway. That is the, the I think that she is the stateless, right? And for this process, that is the complexity of the broker practices, we can, we can see from, from that one. And uh, also that is, what is the, what are the major drive, driver, I mean the major factors that force them into this type of migration process? Is it poverty? Is it the way, I mean, that the currency, the, the currency differences between the neighboring countries? That is the Myanmar currency and the Thai currency, and also compared to the Taiwanese currency. It is quite a different in terms of the currency. And also, they didn't mention in the film but actually it is the 
minimum wage in this in, in each country as well. That will uh, whether it will attract or the uh, people from other countries to come to the country at the destination. What happened in the origin and what happened in the destination. And also from from my own experience, there is not for the form of the trafficking, human trafficking, not just only the mother selling the daughter, but also another form as well, like a, a guy from Thailand or from the border zone, they went to the southern of China, like in Yunnan, and who married the young girl, and actually took the girl to the same industry in the southern Thailand. I remember the case that is one case that why I was waiting to interview the health personnel in, in the southern Thailand because during that time we conduct the research in the child labor in the rubber plantation in the southern Thailand. And one lady came to me and I didn't ask her anything and she she just told me that okay, why you why you why you were here? What are you doing? And I said, why I'm waiting for the health staff? And she said, I'm also waiting for the health staff. And because this time that my workers you come for the physical examination, because actually she is the owner of the bar. And then she said that, okay, all the workers that is they are older than 18 years old, but there are some bars that they, they have the workers who are younger than 18 years. And they were from Yunnan, from southern China, and also from Myanmar. And they are working as the child or city in the southern Thailand. This is also another form of the human trafficking, and it's happened in the real life. And for the migrant worker, yeah, actually that we can say that Aho is a migrant worker and they work as a, uh, a tour guide. And why he go with the drug traffic? What is the main driver? What is the main factor? What reflection from the field? Got no job because of Funding. And also the coup happened and then he lost his job and also a fool as well. And then they turned their face to the drug trafficking. And actually in as the the more for because I, I I have quite limited the the uh, background in the theory, the social theory background. I think that mostly the the more we we looking at the migration process by uh, we borrow the perspective from the economist and we looking at that the poverty, the wage difference, the currency differences, and also that is the main driver. They are main drivers to force the people to migrate to another place. Uh, and the perspective that maybe you have different perspective to look at this issue, unequal citizenship, we can see that suddenly is stateless. And also that our home is the person who may be the illegal my grandmother in Thailand. And also when the first time, I think that that is the first time for our home to involve with the drug trafficking. He was so nervous. He was so nervous. And this happened to, I think that all the people who were first involved with the drug trafficking because I used to conduct the, the uh, research in the prisons and all the 
prisoners are involved in the drug trafficking case, whether they are the seller, whether some of them were the scapegoats for this situation as well. But I don't know that is for in this situation when a home involved with the drug trafficking process, is he willing to do that? Is he forced? What is the main force to go with the drug trafficking? He end up with his body. I think that is, is he done? <laughs> he died, right? Because he fight with the mafia and the gang. Yeah. How would we explain the gang in this, in this process? This is my, my first round, okay, we will let the professor show. Um, well, actually I am not such familiar with the cross-border migrations. Even though I was doing my research about refugees and though they are also migrate from Burma to Thailand. But uh, I think uh, from this film we can see one very interesting point and that is uh, neglected usually in Taiwan. Uh, we know Taiwan is an island and during the Cold War and during the period that uh, uh, ROC and PRC claimed the sovereignty over each other and in Taiwan uh, we have